hello everyone today we will see it's the subsequent video in this series where we are learning to filter the data so here we're gonna learn something and whatever we're gonna learn i've segmented that into two parts one is does the other one is does not so there can be a situation where we want to find where something starts with or something ends with or that thing contains a particular string that kind of rows those kind of rows we might be willing to filter at some point of time at the same time we might wish to filter the records where something does not starts with some particular string so for that we will use this kind of uh, conditions like it does not starts with does not ends with and does not contains so there are two segments of whatever we're gonna learn today hello, hello everyone to welcome to the channel to understand the concept clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you could keep on getting the notification of all of the videos which we upload on this channel all right, so first we're gonna learn to filter out the rows where something starts with something. Let's have a look at this sample data set. So this is the data frame. And like you can see, this has three columns, name, region, education. Now, if you want to filter the male population out of this data frame, or maybe female population out of this data frame. So what is this that you can look for? How can you identify which are male or which are population like you don't have a column for gender so here you can if you can notice we have mr miss mrs etc so if you have to filter for male population what you can do you can simply look for names which start from or which starts with mr dot so if you look for those things so here are the rows which starts with mr dot and when you filter them using the when you filter the data frame using the conditions then we will get a data frame which would look something like this all right so let's jump to the python id and try to understand this practically here in python ide i have created one separate script where which i use to import all the data sets so the data frame on which we're going to work today will be edu this is the script particularly written to import the, import the data frames now here i'll be using that edu data frame right so let's have a look at this data frame shape here we have just 11 rows and three columns let's see because this data frame is not too big i'm not going to use head so like here you can see this is the sample data set now let's see how can we use the starts with condition with this particular data frame so you don't have to do much just put the data frame name put a square bracket and in the square bracket again you're going to write data frame name and then the column name in which you want to look for that and then the most powerful thing which you're going to use over here that is string function which will be used in the form of str then you're going to say starts with starts with because this is a function so you're going to use the parenthesis operator over here and in that in the double quotation you're going to put the letter or the word for which you want to filter the data i mean the letter you want to filter the data wherever it starts with that particular letter so in the column name you want to filter all the rows wherever name starts with mr all right let's run this here we go now we have just four records and these are the male population all right so you could have also written just m then you will have many more records in fact all the records because all of the records start with m be it mr miss or mrs all right so that's why i had to use mr mr dot all right 
so this is how you can use the starts with condition to filter the data on a particular variable now if you don't want to put select all the columns you can put a list of columns over here for example here if i want only name and education so i can simply write those two variable names which i have already showed in the previous video all right so this is how you can do that if you want to use more than one condition you can also do that like in the previous video i have covered how to use multiple logical operator in the same way you can use that next thing which we're gonna learn over here is ends with we have to look for all the rows where in one column we're gonna say this particular letter for example we have this data frame and we want to look for all the records where the na last name is Holmes or maybe you could have also looked for all the names where name ends with S but if you look for that you will get this thing also so I will be looking for Holmes but that's not mandatory that you put a word you can put one later as well so if we use this condition so the resulting data frame which we will get will be this because there are just two records into that data frame let's again jump to the python id and try to understand this now here we again gonna use edu data frame and then edu data frame name again we want to look into the name variable so we're gonna say name dot str dot this time we're gonna say ends with that's it the rest of the things is going to be same and in the bracket we're gonna say homes and let's filter that so here we go here we have just two records now again if you want to keep some specific columns you can just provide the list over here all right so this was the thing which we could have used to filter the records where name ends with some particular letter or a particular word let's say if we want to filter for those names which ends with s like we have three records so this is how you can play around this i highly encourage you to use this as per your requirement create the cases as per you according to your uses and try to use this as much as possible in the end of this video please be till the end of this video i would be giving a very interesting exercise which i encourage you to do but please be with the video so that you could learn the technique and at the end you could get the exercise well so next we have contains the contains method let's have a look at the sample data frame here we have the data frame and we want to look into the reason column and we want to filter all the records where a reason is associated to east reason right so somewhere it is east south somewhere east somewhere middle east northeast or only east so if you use starts with that will give you this row only if you use ends with that will give you this row only right again if you use ends with then you will get this row so you will have to use two techniques but you can avoid that by just using contains method let's see how can we use that again here we have the data frame edu and start the square bracket edu and then this time we're gonna use the variable which is reason dot str dot contains all right and in the bracket we gonna use ist so if you do this you're gonna get this result like you can see over here we have five records and all of them are in ist region or somehow associated to ist region so this is how you can use these three things starts with ends with and contains if you want you can combine two and then you can get the things for example here i want to look for those records where name ends with s and the reason is ist let's see if we have something like that so how can we do that for that we have to say just let's copy this to save the time and paste it over here so this is our one condition i'll enclose this in a parenthesis operator and then i will use this operator which is called ampersand and use as and to concatenate two conditions in the previous video i have covered about this how do we use this thing right now here 
I am going to put the next condition. The next condition is this one. All right. And now let's run this. So here we go. Now here we have just one record where reason is associated to ist and name ends with s. So this one record we got using this logic. So this was the thing till now we use this thing in positive way means where it starts with where it ends with where it contains or where it I mean this is the combination of the two rules which we simply learned about right now what if you want to filter only those names which does not ends with s or what if you want to filter only those records where the name does not starts with mister what if you want to filter only those records where the region does not contains ist right how can you filter that let's under understand that well so here we have the does not so to include that does not condition we use tilde that is nothing just this symbol where can you find this on your keyboard here it is right so but to use that you have to use it in combination with shift key all right so you simply press and hold shift and then you press this key then you will have the tilde let's see how can we use that all right so here we had this condition when you run this condition let me just copy this over here look at this if you run this you will get all the records where name ends with s now if you want to use it in a reverse way so you just have to put a tilde over here right now you will get all those records which does not ends with s all right so this is how you use tilde same thing you can use with contains and same thing you can use with starts with i'm not going to cover these two things over here i leave it for you you just try that and see if you are facing any kind of difficulty if yes then put that doubt or whatever error you are getting into the comment section i'll definitely get back to you all right so here we have the exercise to complete this so let's read the exercise let's exercise is find the customers who lives in ru and last letter in their name is t before we before i explain you about the exercise let me show you the data frame this is the excel file which I'll be providing for, for which I'll be providing you the link. You can download this Excel file from the uh, GitHub, right? And uh, th this is the data frame where you have all these columns and you have to look in address column and then in the contact name, right? Contact name and the address column. So let's go back to the uh, exercise. In the address, you need to look for row and in the name uh, you need to find all those names which ends with t this is the hint which i have given and that i just explained over here so i highly encourage you to go ahead and do this exercise and uh, put your doubts into the comment section or put your result into the comment section or syntax into the comment section put that whatever you feel like sharing with us in the next video, we will learn how to use query, how to use n largest and n smallest. Trust me, this thing is going to be very powerful and this is going to provide you a lot of flexibility uh, in order to do the filtering on your data frame. And subsequently, we will also learn how to use n largest and n smallest. Thank you very much for being with us and watching the video. Wish you very good luck.